So um, I'm going to talk about how I define process and I think how it overlays yours really, really nicely. Um, a word on some of the images you're going to see here. And this is a kind of a really, I, I think it's a really cool story. Um, this is something my graphic designer put together for me. And, and if you'd see on my website and, um, you know, some of my other materials that rethink the way you sell is my trademark. And yesterday I had a t-shirt on, it's got a brain on it with this little dollar sign logo in it. And, uh, there was a project I was working on and I, I still don't know how it's going to all come together. It's been something I've been tinkering with for the last couple of years about the process though, because I think this is something that's really, really important. And my emblem for process is this kind of token that you'll see here. And this is my graphic designers rendering of this labyrinth in Oregon. This labyrinth in Oregon is also uh, a direct replica of one that's in France. Um, but this is a walking meditation path. And the reason that this is so uh, special to me is this little clearing in the woods is Devon's all over it is at Bandon. Uh, Bandon Dunes Golf Resort. It's one of my, I, I think, it's one of my favorite places in the world. And when I'm standing on the fourth tee box at Pacific Dunes and like the, the world just falls off and turns into uh, the Pacific Ocean there, um, it's, it's really, it's humbling. Um, I'm brought to tears every time I stand there because the feeling of gratitude that I get to play a stupid game on a piece of property like that. But the... Um, this labyrinth is really, really important because I think it represents the process. And I'm going to read to you the sign. This is going to set up the whole thing. Trust me, I'm not just sharing pictures from my golf trip. Um, but the, the, the emblem or the, on the sign here, I'll read it for you because you probably can't see it. But the labyrinth is a metaphor for our journey through life. Its path leads toward an inner light to the center of ourself and the center of the sacred one and the same. Its direction at times is confusing. This is the important part. Its direction at times is confusing, taking us around then back again. Yet it is through this circular journey of discovery and growth that we, re that we reconnect to where we once began. Now, you can look into that as much as you want. You can take that for your own personal um, you know, investigation as much as you'd like. But to me, the ups and downs, the backs and forths, the going around in a circle, but ultimately ending exactly where we're supposed to go. That's a metaphor for what we're doing in your sales career. And, and Devin, I think this is, uh, you know, you, you were talking about being brand new in your sales career. There's going to be some stuff that happens to you and you don't know why you don't know what you don't know how it's just confusing. And I think, that's all part of the process because it gets you to this point of understanding. It gives you some context. It gives you some experience to put everything else in the future, whether it's your career, your personal life, or all of it really into some perspective for you. And so look, there are going to be some things that happen. There are going to be some deals that you win that you have no business winning. There are going to be some deals you lose that you have no business losing. But remember, that the object is to keep moving forward, to keep taking those steps. Because the difference between a labyrinth and a maze is a maze is designed to confuse you. A labyrinth has one way in and one way out. There are no dead ends, just some unexpected twists and turns. So that's where that emblem comes from. You're gonna see it here in, in a few minutes. So I don't wanna belabor the point with this story, but um, like th this is where it all kind of came to me. And oddly enough, last time I was there, this was July of 2019. And we also, we all know what happened just a few months after that. And going back and leaning on this, thinking about controlling what I can control, thinking about what's the next right thing to do, think about continuing to take steps forward. It has literally helped me keep whatever sanity I have left through the last couple of years. So pandemic or not, a sales career can feel very confusing. It can feel very misleading. Trust your process. Trust that you're doing the right things and you have guidance from other people and you have really good purpose, particularly within this organization. You know what the right things are to do. No step is too small so long as it's headed in the right direction and you keep taking steps.